Hi folks, in this video we're going to take a little trip from Pennsylvania to Egypt. And you can see, if you look at the board, the world is a quite a big place. And there's Pennsylvania right there in a state in the United States of America. And even compared to the rest of the country, it's such a small place to be. And yet our novel takes place in Spain. So we're going to take a little trip from Pennsylvania to Spain just to better understand where our main character Santiago is journeying from. So there we go. Bye U.S. to Spain. Awesome. So yeah, this is a, obviously a more updated image of Tarifa than maybe the one depicted in her novel, but it gives you a great idea as to where the setting is. You can see it's kind of on the tip of the continent, and so Santiago takes this trip to, from Tarifa to Tangier, and it doesn't really look like there's that much distance between the two continents. At that point, if I zoom out here, you can see definitely a little more distance between the continents. But that seems to be a place where they're pretty close together. It's a couple of hours according to the novel. So I'm just going to go ahead and type in Tangier. And uh, Morocco, of course, comes up. So here we go. Santiago, already at this point in our reading, he's left Spain and he's now in Africa. And the first place he winds up is Tangier. And we all know what happens when he gets there. But of course, he doesn't want to stay in Tangier. And his first explanation or reason or goal for getting out of here after everything that's happened to him, all the challenges that he's faced, all of the obstacles he had to overcome, the first thing he wants to do is just go home. And he's spent over a year earning enough money to do so. And he's really successful. He's actually doing better than before he arrived in Africa. But he still, he still has this personal legend. He still has this destiny. He still has something that he wants to do. So he wants to go to Egypt. And let's just find out exactly how far Egypt is. Because at this point in our reading, he's already joined the caravan. He's on his way. And let's see what happens. Okay, so leaving Tangier and heading off to Egypt. Oh my goodness. That's quite a distance. That is not something that's going to take him a day. Like the thief had told him earlier in our reading. That's certainly quite the caravan ride to Egypt. So he is going across the desert. He has quite a distance to go. This is not going to be an easy journey. He's going to face obstacles. He's going to face challenges. And ultimately, he wants to get to the pyramids. And I took us to Egypt, but he only hit the oasis at this point. Where are the pyramids? He still has a little bit of traveling yet to do. So our hero has not quite found his personal treasure. He's a little bit closer. He's getting there. There are things that he needs to do. He certainly has a quest that he needs to fulfill, but let's see what choices he makes. Does he go for it? Does he give up? What would you do?